Now to one of our top stories. New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft has hired a Florida attorney to defend him against prostitution charges. Police say he was one of the 25 men caught on surveillance camera paying for sexual acts at a day spa in Jupiter, Florida. As you know, Kraft denies the allegations. Police suspected the spa was involved in a sex trafficking ring. They obtained what's known as a sneak and peek warrant and secretly installed surveillance cameras inside. The sting was a months-long investigation that focused on several Florida spas and massage parks. As a result, 10 have been closed down. Police say as many as 200 Johns have been arrested or will continue to be arrested. Joining me now, someone who has busted many spas such as this one and is now an advocate for women trapped in sex trafficking, former Los Angeles Police Department Sergeant with the Vice Unit, Stephanie Powell. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. I was reading through some of your notes, and one thing that you said right off the bat is this is not an anomaly, right? Like, this is, we should not be acting hugely surprised. Why do you say that? Yeah, absolutely. This is not an anomaly. And in fact, this arrest really is bringing to light a conversation that needs to be had as it pertains to uh, victims of human sex trafficking. You know, they have only charged one person in human trafficking. I was just looking right down at my notes. I'm sort of curious, are we going to see more human trafficking arrests? And why is that so important? So it's, it's extremely important because this is something that's happening underground. And, mm -hmm. um, and that's why there's a need for that uh, awareness piece uh, so that people can understand uh, what we do in my organization of Journey Out in terms of helping uh, victims of human sex trafficking. I think um, as long as the nation continues to put this in the forefront, you're going to see more conversations. You're going to see uh, more arrests. You're going to see laws that are being changed. And most important, the understanding that victims of human trafficking do not have a choice. You talked a little bit about Journey Out. I'm curious as to times when you have found a spa similar to this one. I mean, we were told that women were living there. How does that even happen? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so what normally happens, and, and I, I know this not only um, being prior Los Angeles police officer, but in terms of the clients that we help, a lot of times uh, they are brought into the country on a ruse uh, in which they believe that they're going to do some other type of occupation. Once they get here, uh, all of their government ID is taken. It is not unusual to go into these uh, establishments where you will see uh, mattresses that are on the floor and they are unable to leave these premises or if they have them in a safe house away from the establishment mm -hmm. they will escort them to and from uh, quote unquote work um, but they're unable to leave the location and so therefore it really is enslavement okay so why is it difficult to to get these spas closed down is that because you need like we need the sneak and peek uh, warrant you need to to legally investigate before they're closed down correct is it there's just a there's a method if I'm not mistaken yeah, absolutely. Uh, you, you do have to uh, prove your case. And then the one thing to remember that officers cannot uh, arrest on a misdemeanor crime unless it is uh, it happens in front of their eyes. Um, so that's why you have to do it undercover. OK, so you've been doing this for years. I mean, how does it make you feel that this is I mean, you can't really get a bigger name than Robert Kraft and look at the timeline. I mean, he was headed to the AFC championship, right? Like this is a this is a big deal. There's a spotlight on it now. Oh, yeah, it's huge. And there is a spotlight on it. And so um, sad for Mr. Kraft. But what it does is that it opens up a national conversation of the reality of, of human sex trafficking. Oftentimes, people will think that these uh, people have a choice and they can leave at any point. But if you're a victim of human sex trafficking, you cannot leave. You do not have a choice. But who did have a choice was Mr. Kraft. Right. Well, we've been talking about it all week, Stephanie, and we're going to continue to talk about it. So thank you so much. We appreciate your input. Thank you. And I appreciate your conversation on it.